happening people so today we're gonna do a review on this Excalibur Assassin 420 TD crossbow just purchased this just a couple of weeks ago we're gonna go through how I have it set up what broadheads I use and talk a little bit about this great crossbow so stay with us so folks this is the Excalibur Assassin 420 TD And in my opinion, it is the best crossbow on the market today. And I'll tell you why I think that. And the first thing drew me to the Excalibur crossbow was this recurve limb design. This is simple and straightforward. There's, no, there's not a lot of cables. There's not a lot of wheels to go bad. Only one string in the limbs. And they make these limbs strong enough to deliver 420 feet per second. Uh, that was the first thing that drew me to the Excalibur crossbow. Now they've really came a long way in some innovations to make this crossbow better and better and better. But I think they have really struck on the pinnacle of crossbows with the recurve limb design. So some of the things they've added to this Assassin is this cheek piece that is adjustable right here. And that is great because not everybody's face, arm length is all the same. So the cheek peak is adjustable, and I'll leave it where I had it. And also, there's an adjustable length of pull. And what makes this exciting, what makes this exciting to me is that I can carry a youth hunting with me, or my wife, which is filming now, Miss P, can use this crossbow and I can shorten this length of pull and cheek piece to make it easier for them to get their eye up to the crossbow. Another great feature of this crossbow is this internal cocking or crank device to cox it. And you can see that on the back there is, on the rear, you have your, your reverse and your crank design here so you flip this button and i'll show you how to use that in a minute the safety is uh is very convenient the safety is up top here right close to your thumb and it comes with a thumb hole stock here so it fits really nicely and you can see how nice this crossbow fits i can basically hold this with one hand and it fits really nice with that thumb hole stock i like that this holds your crank here in case you want to carry it with you now I don't advise to keep that crank in in a hunting situation just for the simple reason it rattles just a little bit but it's a it is a great convenient place to uh, keep your crank while you're practicing and or traveling to and from the hunting woods so I just so the way the tack 100 is designed has a crosshair in it and these illuminated dots so you set this scope at 20 yards, then shoot it at 30 and see how high and low it is. And I'm sorry. So on the top of this TAC 100 scope, on the top of this TAC 100 scope, once you get your 20 yards set, the 30 yards should be the same. And this scope works for uh, crossbows that shoot from 300 all the way up to 350 feet per second. They claim that this will shoot 420 feet per second. I've heard 418, 417 is probably what you're going to get in the real world. But I went up to 125 grain uh, broadhead just to give me a little more weight on the bolt. And so that's going to slow the bolt down just a little bit. But it gives me a little more kinetic energy, and that's kind of what I was looking for. Your new bow will come with four bolts, if you get it that way, and a detachable quiver. 
and it's really quickly to take the quiver off and take it back on. Depending on your hunting situation, you may want to leave it on or take it off. I normally take mine off and set it to the side just to get it out of the way. Remove this bow from this crossbow. There's a little locking lever here. You unlock that, you open the lever, and you just pick up on the bow, boom, there it is. And that makes it real easy. They have a case that they sell where you can uh, store this. It makes it easier to carry it. And I'm aiming to get me a case for it. So to put it back, you can see the little stud sticking up here. Just slide it right back over the top. Audible click, boom. And you're ready to fire again. Because this has an internal crank, it's nothing on the outside. It makes it very easy for the average person to, to cock uh, this crossbow. And that was a major seller for me to be able to do that. This handle right here, it comes with a lanyard that fits around your wrist. And that's designed so when you get tired, when you get tired, you can stop winding. So basically, you hear this snap, everything has an audible, audible design. You'll snap that into your crank and you'll put a little pressure on it and you're gonna click release. Now what that does is releases this trigger mechanism here. And so I'm gonna wind it one, two, three times. Now this is your anti-dry fire release here. You're gonna push that forward and I'm gonna release that trigger mechanism. Now you can watch this handle turn as I push this down. And I'm just gonna, I could wind this, but I can just push it with my thumb. Now watch this, listen for this click here. Click. Now, that tells me, now since it's clicked, that tells me it's locked in, it's an audible click. So I'm gonna come back here to my crank and I'm gonna click this button to crank and it's got an air on it so that means I can crank it and I can start cranking. Now it's fairly easy to crank once you get to about this point where this trigger release is right up under this scope. At that point I've gotten tired so when I stop cranking you can see I've stopped cranking it holds the string in place. So this has a clutch in it that stops. Then I can start again. And it does get a little difficult right here at the end. Now listen for the audible click. Hear the anti-dry fire engage. And because I pushed on this safety knob, it was set on the own. So I'm gonna turn it off. Basically, take my thumb, take my crank out. Now, I'm ready to load my bolt. So my bolt will slide in, click into the anti-dry fire, and now it is ready to fire. All I need to do is take the safety off and fire the bolt. So let's say that we have hunted and we are came out of the woods. You remember the old crossbows, you used to have to carry a target with you and shoot it out. So I'm gonna show you this really makes this easy and simple. So I'm gonna reverse this process. And normally I would do this standing up, but it's a little bit easier for me to do it sitting down. So I'll insert my crank here and I'll take the pressure off here. So that's released. While that's released, I'm gonna release the anti-dry fire and I'm gonna take this crank. Now this is where your strap would come in handy. Now I'm gonna begin to let the pressure off. Now when you let this off, there is no there is no clutch on this part. So I'm going to release the string back down. And the further you get down, the easier it is. Now because this has an anti-dry fire on it, I can either leave it there. See, there's no pressure. There's actually no pressure on the string here. 
So if I want to remove that, so my finger's a little big to stick in this hole and I have to, there's a lever right here that I can click up and it releases that anti-dry fire. So since my finger is so big, now you watch that anti-dry fire. I'm gonna just use my pocket knife, reach in there, and click it up, and you can see it releases. Now, Turn it back on me. Now that's pretty accurate. That's a 40 yard shot. So just for argument's sake, so you'll know what works in the field and what don't, that is 125 grain head that I'm shooting. And this is a rage broadhead here's a package I bought six of them when I bought it and that is what I chose to shoot in combination uh, with this crossbow and this is the no collar I can do this without cutting myself and that's how wide it is once it opens that is a devastating broadhead um, and then it clicks right back. And that's how it flies through the woods. So you have to pair yourself with this. This is a 125 grain practice head uh, that mimics this in flight. And this practice head, I know for a fact, shoots just like the broadheads because I mix it in when I was practicing and it shoots just like a broadhead. So, uh, so I purchased this crossbow at Eastern Outfitters, which is near Jacksonville, North Carolina. And I, though, those guys gave me the best price on it. The price on this crossbow was $1,669. And you can see that is the tag there. And if you are interested in purchasing a crossbow from them, give them a call. I'll put them in the description below if you want to give them guys a call. And I'm sure they'll be glad to ship you a crossbow if you're interested in that. Hey guys, I hope you saw something in the video that you learned you saw something that you like if you're looking for some information uh, on this particular crossbow i hope this review helps you like i said early in the video i think this is the best crossbow on the market going right now and hey guys don't forget to subscribe and like the channel and look out for those uh, hunting uh, those bow hunting videos coming up and remember it's a wild life and i'll see you in the field